We're talking with Charles Grodin. Victoria Principal is here, and Jeff Seinfeld is going to come out later. You've been on the show, um, I guess, around a dozen times. and uh, you've This show? Yeah, something like that. You've never said anything uh, that got us in trouble. But what was the show you were on? Were you, um, I don't know whether you were censored or... Uh, yeah, I was you got censored. Your, you got yourself in a I bit of a... I was censored. It's, I, I hope, you know, I hope I'm not censored again here tonight to tell why I was censored. It, 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 it Our standards happen. may be different than uh, that show. Well... Because we have no standards. Well, this will work, then. I mean, we do, but... I got called by somebody who saw a promo for something I was supposed to do, and I said, what are you doing? I said, why? He said, it says you're going to be on television uh, talking with this doctor about impotence. Mm-hmm. I said, gee, I don't, uh, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, what is, I wasn't even sure really what, uh, this may sound naive, and I guess it is naive, I wasn't sure if impotence meant that you, uh, you couldn't get a, uh, or did it mean you could get, uh, but you couldn't have, you know, I wasn't sure, uh, uh, anyway, that's what was said. I think you're first to. Uh... That's right. Yeah. So I went on the show it's and right. asked that, and the doctor said, no, it means that you couldn't get a, uh, Anyway, uh, it'll be all right. We'll just, he, he, this is th- called fill in the blanks. Uh, <laughs> this, that was censored. This wasn't censored, what he said. Uh-huh. He said that there was a theory for people who uh, were impotent and didn't know whether it was physical or psychological. And this is what you were supposed to do. And this is serious. Uh-huh. Uh, as a test, uh, every man or a man who is not impotent in the course of a night's sleep... Yeah. We'll have at least three. <laughs> and if you wanted to check whether this impotence was based on... The, am I fired? No, no. All right. um, if you wanted to check whether this, <laughs> this was based on physical or psychological reasons, what you do is you take a couple of... Uh, this is all medical stuff. We're yes. This is, and it, this is what the doctor said. You right. take a couple of, uh, or however many you might need, postage stamps when you go to sleep. And in the morning, when you wake up, if those stamps are... Canceled? Uh... <laughs> then you will know, then you will know that, uh, that your problem is not physical, your problem is uh, psychological. Uh, he didn't say uh, if it was psychological, then mm-hmm. what you should do, maybe you could uh, I, mail I, it. I think I follow what you're saying. Uh... And if the stamps were... If the stamps were broken, you were, uh, it was a psychological problem. I see. I that see. went out. That was okay. But the question on whether impotence, what impotence what meant, meant was censored. I don't understand that at all. That seems like a fairly normal... I think it's because I'm not a doctor and he is that you couldn't uh, say that. Yeah. Well, I don't think we'll cut that out of our show. Will we, Fred? <laughs> Fred, you want to put the stamps away and talk to me a second? <laughs> You're not... You're not supposed to put them on this early in the evening if you just wait till you go to bed tonight. <laughs> Would those be penny stamps, airmail? Uh, <laughs> I suppose that's relative, too. Um, well, anyway, that, that's the only time you've ever been <laughs> ever been censored, huh? Until tonight. Yeah. No, no, no that, 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 that's okay. It is? Yeah. Well, it wasn't there, and I was surprised that it wasn't. I mean, they asked me to sit there next to the fella. And that man was a doctor. And the man was a doctor. And I thought it was, a, it was an all right Worked question. Worked in a hospital they, place. They didn't well, think so. Should have known better. What else is on your mind? You'd like to talk about anything tonight? What are you doing uh, currently that we should know about? Or maybe you don't want us to know. Any of those questions, Chuck? Uh, <laughs> am I talking soft again? No, no, no. I was... Uh, I was uh... <laughs> anything you want to come on? Baseball? Are you a baseball fan? Yes, Hockey. I am a baseball fan. Good. What am I doing? Yeah. I mean, you have a... Usually when people come on here, they're plugging something. You know, just plug, 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 plug. Well, and you've been sitting here for oh, nigh on to ten minutes and haven't said, hey, I got a, a picture coming out or I'm opening it uh, somewhere. I don't like to do that, really. I really don't. I, I, you know, I, I like to do it uh, years ago uh, when I was in a picture with Albert Brooks because I think he's so great. Right. And if I were in a picture with Albert Brooks, I'd happily come out and say... What was that picture? We real can, life. You know, we could plug that. It came out a few years it, ago. You know, when it, yeah, but it's not... It's uh, too bad you missed real life. Yeah, that but was it was great. Years ago. It was great. No, I, I'm not... See, this way it keeps the rhythm of the show going, because if we don't have a plug, it breaks it. Uh, and people are not used to it. They'll say, gee, what happened to him tonight? He didn't plug no, anything. I, no, I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't like to plug. I, I'm, basically, I'm working on a, uh, on a uh, different image. 
You know, when I came out here originally, uh, which was about 10 years ago, I was a guy with a dark suit and a tie. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm going for something else now. I can tell. Yeah. 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 You're much heavier then, too. Yeah, I was, I was, I was heavier then, but I'm, I'm basically going for... Uh, what do you think? Yeah, we're kind of laid back, easy, with it. Hmm? People come on talk shows. Yeah. Very often, people don't say this on talk shows, but it's really true. People come on talk shows to establish an image for themselves because you can't do it in the movies often because you're, because of the part, because of the role you're they trapped in They think you the are role. what you are. So yeah. they think you are what you are. This is the real? But, but you're not, well, no, this isn't the real either. You know, this is like working for an image. Burt Reynolds is a perfect example. Burt Reynolds comes out here. Made his image, right. He made his image uh, as a funny person. Right. But basically, Burt Reynolds comes out and, comes out around those curtains and looks up at the audience as though, what's that look on his face saying to you? Here I am. And I've just had... <laughs> Post these stamps in. That's right. Then he... <laughs> and he pretty much plays that, I think. Yeah. He plays that out here. He's funny and he's witty and he's real, right. you know, very attractive guy. And basically when he's finished and he's leaving, he gives that audience a look like he's going now to go get yeah. some more... Uh... Yeah. And that's it. So that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Yeah, well, it's coming along. It's, it's, I sense it. I sense it. I mean, I'm excited just sitting here next to you. Uh, you touched me there. See, you said you I knew you would before the night was over. All right, we'll take a break here. Victoria Principal's here tonight also, and Jeff Seinfeld.